हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द रेकॉन सिविल एकेडमी वीडियो सीरीज टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू टॉपिक लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द इजीएस्ट टॉपिक इन गेट सेलेबस एंड हाईली स्कोरिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आई विल डिस्कस अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मैथामेटिक्स यू विल एबल टू विजुअलाइज वाई वी एज ए इंजीनियर नीड लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आई विल डिस्कस सेवन इंपॉर्टेंट इयर्स डेट चेंज द मैथामेटिक्स द फर्स्ट इयर इज फिफ्टीन फोर्टी थ्री वेन ए पोलिश मैथामेटिशियन एंड एस्ट्रोनॉमर निकोलस कैप्रेनिकस फॉर्मुलेटेड ए मॉडल ऑफ द यूनिवर्स that place the sun at the center rather than earth this was a very important year because after that everybody agree that earth is not at the center but sun is at the center of the universe the second year year 1600 when galileo who is the brother of michael angelo invented telescope again a astronomical a event which changed the mathematics the third year is 1614 when napier gives the logarithmic concept he introduced log i will tell you why these are important next year is 1687 1687 is the year when newton gave law of motion and introduced a new concept calculus and from that point the science has changed drastically so calculus differential equation everything comes after 1687 the next year is 1695 when bernoulli gives his first differential equation for fluid mechanics that was the year of 1695 1750 another very important point in the mathematics and engineering when euler and lagrange both are swiss, uh, swiss scientist gave euler equation strength of material people started working on material also and last 1800 when laplace gives its transformation why i am discussing all these 1543 to 1800 it was the time when people understand that for commerce trade business science is important without science commerce and economy of a country cannot grow that was understood in the era of 1540 to 17 or 1800 and this was mostly took place in european countries that's why all the scientists that i named are belong to europe the kings understood that without machine they cannot produce more without going to other places by sea routes they cannot become a big nations that was understood by european uh, kings and so they encourage the scient uh, scientific activities in their region and the result is that they these scientists come up with brilliant uh, invention and discoveries the most important which i feel in engineering is 1614 napier 1687 newton and 1695 bernoulli in 1700 uh, industrial revolution started and they laid the foundation i am coming back to my laplace transformation what i just discuss is give you a idea that people require mathematics and mathematics was not easy friends uh, please understand that there was no calculator at that time without calculator they need to do all the calculation and that is the toughest part i ask you can you imagine a life without a calculator no so these scientist are working hard to get their mathematics correct and laplace napier fourier taylor they made the mathematics easy before starting laplace i give you what is transformation is all about so transformation is all about converting the things how let us take example of log log was given in 1614 by napier so what he has done at that time multiplication and division and powers are very difficult to evaluate so he said ki if i want to multiply two numbers 10.785 multiply by 5.423 it is a lengthy calculation without a calculator 
So what he said? He said take log of both the side. So this becomes log of 10.785 into 5.423. Now we know that log m multiplied by n is log m plus log n. So what he has done? He actually converted a multiplication into addition and by tables you can easily find what is log 10.785 which is 1.0328 plus 0.7342 log base of 10 x is equal to 1.767 if you take anti log of both the sides you will get x is equal to 10 raised to power 1.767 which is equal to 58.4 so what he has done he has converted multiplication to addition so log m into n is log m plus log n then log m by n is log m minus log n then log m raised to power n is n log m <coughs> sorry and by inverse all the calculation becomes easy so this is known as transformation you transfer the things that was done by Napier on the same line Laplace also make one transformation and what was that let us discuss it so let us see how Laplace transformation work so what Laplace has done Laplace transform a differential equation to linear algebra how that the Laplace of first derivative is equal to Laplace of actual function into s minus y of that function at 0. I am not going into the derivation of this part but this is important and this is the key. So he has given this golden equation that any derivative if you take the Laplace of that it is equal to Laplace of original function multiplied by a another variable s minus y0. So what is this s? Actually what he is trying to do he is working on waves so he convert the time function to a function of s which is frequency so you can say that this is a conversion of one function to another function which is easier as we have seen in the log part also in logarithmic we also see this thing and in this also he has done the similar thing but in more advanced so I will explain you with one example. Let us say I have a partial differential y double bar plus 10 y bar plus 12 y equal to 0 and boundary conditions are y 0 is 2 and y bar 0 is 5. This is given and I want to solve this differential equation using Laplace transformation. So what I will do as I have done in the logarithmic part also I will take Laplace of both the sides so Laplace of 0 please remember Laplace of 0 is 0 I will de I will tell everything in the detail from the next video this is only for your view how Laplace transformation work in this 10 15 minutes I am just giving you a view how Laplace transformation work later I will tell you each and everything of the Laplace just see it and feel the Laplace transformation now by linearity I can change it to Laplace y double bar plus 10 times Laplace y bar plus 12 times Laplace y this is equal to 0. Now for this part I will apply this equation here I have double bar and here I have single bar means second derivative and here I have first derivative. So what I will write s into Laplace of first derivative minus y times first derivative 0 so this is the this part plus 10 times again I will apply this part here so what I get 10 into s into Laplace of y minus y0 plus 12 times Laplace of y so now you can see I have converted everything into the first order and original function again apply this part to this so s into I will write Laplace of first derivative now as s into Laplace of y minus y0 minus y dash 0 plus 10 times s into Laplace of y minus y0 plus 12 times Laplace of y this is equal to 0. Now I will apply the initial conditions 
which is given to me, which is boundary conditions. So what I can write s into s into Laplace of y minus y0. So y0 is 2 minus y dash 0. y dash 0 is 5 plus 10 times s into Laplace of y minus y0. So it is 2 plus 12 times Laplace of y. This is equal to 0. Now simplify it. What you will get? s square Laplace of y minus 7s plus 10s Laplace of y minus 20 plus 12 times Laplace of y and this is equal to 0. Now simplify it again further. Now what I can say Laplace of y multiply by s square plus 10s plus 12 is equal to 20 plus 7s or Laplace of y is equal to 20 plus 7s divided by s square plus 10s plus 12. Now take inverse Laplace of both sides. Similarly as we have done in the log, inverse of log. Okay, so what I get? y is equal to inverse of 20 plus 7s divided by s square plus 10s plus 12. If you able to find the inverse of Laplace of 20 plus 7s over s square plus 10s plus 12, you will get y. How to find the inverse? How to find the Laplace that I will explain you in the next video. I have just given you a view of how Laplace work. This is simple. From next video onwards, I will go into the detail part of the Laplace transformation. Till then, enjoy your engineering. Thank you very much.